Hey guys, we're here to finally do Iki's normal ending. So that should be pretty interesting. So everything that we've picked so far has been alright, except for like one or two things that I kind of mucked up in the good end, which actually were like bad end options. But that is neither here nor there, because it is the 16th. And our manager is mad at us because we got a fever from remembering things. So now we're not going to have as much enthusiasm. That's how it all starts, with less enthusiasm for the root, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I can't hear you! Don't tell me you returned before fully recovering. If that's the case, I'll fire you on the spot. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine! Okay, now you will shout the cafe's motto. <laughs> Alright. And now we just do the same stuff from the good end. So I'll bring you in till the next day, guys. Alright, it is now the next day. We don't ask if there's something wrong. We're just like, blase. Yeah, see you tomorrow, boo. Don't go with those hussies. Be careful on your way home. I'm a little worried, but it doesn't look like he wants to talk about it again. That silly boy. Well, that's all the same. Then he calls us. So instead of saying, should I go over there? What happened? It's nothing. I just really like to talk when I get drunk. With people who actually treat me like an equal. Wait. Didn't I call you like this before, too? Yeah, and you were really bothered. I remember it clearly. <laughs> but anyway, could you just talk? I really don't mind if it's just old memories. Iki really is acting strange. Uh, hey, you remember how Iki said before that he might seriously have been in love with you from the start? If what he said was true, he might seriously be looking to you for help right now. Okay, I had the option again to prompt me to go over. I can talk for a while. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so are you going to talk about old memories, or are you going to tell them stories? Hmm, but you don't have memories, so you can't talk about those. Maybe you should make up a story. My grandmother once dyed her hair pink. Once upon a time lived a boy and a girl. Apparently I have to pick once upon a time. In a far, far away galaxy, lived a boy and a girl. <laughs> so you're telling a story. No, it's fine. I really am fine with anything. Uh, thanks. It's really calming to hear your voice. Could you just talk for a little while longer? I'm starting to feel sleepy. Wait, are you gonna fall asleep on the phone? Hey! Eeky! Ugh. Oh well. He really was acting strange, so this was the least you could do for him. <laughs> yeah. Talk about bare minimum. Ugh, oh, that was so sad compared to our cute little cuddle date and waking up in the morning to not have breakfast together. Oh. Okay. Nothing changes on August 18th, so I'll bring you in for the 19th. Decisions. Oh, except that, uh... He's like, ah, oh, morning. This is different. You can't skip. Ugh. Oh, man. This is embarrassing. Sorry if I gave you any trouble yesterday. I guess I had too much to drink. You know, lately everyone's gotten so heated up. Probably because we've been together for nearly three months. It's exhausting. I'll be fine, though. Anyway, I'll see you later. Hmm, looks like popular guys have it rough, too. But he seems pretty cheerful today. Maybe your phone call yesterday gave him some encouragement. Alright, you've got to cheer up and go to work too! Alright. Now we're back to the, the normal way of things, methinks. Checking, checking. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'll bring you in for the 19th. Alright. Even though Iki told us to 
just watch. We're gonna just leave. Maybe we'll run into Ukiyo again, get, trying to get coffee. Maybe I should leave. Yeah, right. Nope, oh, and we're out. Oh, it'll be hard to gather information. Those girls are insane, so let's just skip ahead. And this time, I will go to the card game and not run into my boo. Okay, then let's go downstairs. Sounds good, just follow me. Actually, since you're coming, I'd like to ask something of you two. What is it? The grip around Iki is probably already formed down there, but our goal is the owner. The owner likes games, so he really wants to participate, but Iki's grip is pretty closed off. It'll probably be hard for the owner to participate, and he'll feel out of place. So maybe the three of us should form a group with the left out male club members and invite the owner. I think that's the most natural way of getting closer to the owner. I like that plan. Okay, that's great, Sawa. I knew you'd feel that way. Uh, I'm glad we're not getting involved in the huge fuss around Iki, but we won't get much information doing this either. Oh well, I guess we could just think of today as a much needed vacation. Boo! <laughs> That's not the right way. That's the opposite of the right way. It's the wrong way. Oh, so depressing though. Not having time with our boo. Oh, uh, well, let's just skip ahead to the next decision. Which was this one. I was just pretending they didn't work. I guess the right one the first time. He's gonna overhear us, though. What? Are you serious? Does that mean this was all your plan for Iki to gain an interest in you? Wow, you're good. Could you tell me the details? I'd like to hear that as well. Ugh. Iki! This is the first time I've heard of this. I'd like to know what's going on. Oh, crap. This sure doesn't look like an act. Maybe they only have a slight effect. What should you do? If he thinks you're lying, he might lose trust in you. Uh-oh. Well, you know, she probably has her reasons. I'm sure she'll eventually tell us all about it, right? I'm sorry, we were prying a little too much. And now it's time to skip again. Oh, dear. It's all the same things. Still don't go with him. Well, this is leading to a bad end with the yes, so let's just not poke that bear yet. That's for another time. Oh, it's scary in the woods. Alright. We're like, huh? Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> that was surprising. It's me. Can you see me? The girl who was my partner said she wouldn't go, so I snuck away from her. Okay, that's the same. Let's see, is there anything else tonight? Yes. I gotta say, I don't care about rumors instead of I don't believe it anymore. Oh, really? But when we first met, it seemed like you were concerned about the rumors and disliked me for them. Yeah, we've learned that since. But that was in the past. If you don't believe them now, that's all that matters. Although you already know that I've had my share of fun with girls, and that we've had this discussion somewhat already. Oh. Well, this breaks my heart. Uh, um. Uh, maybe I should hold off. Oh, my heart! Oh! Oh, that broke my heart in so many pieces. Ugh! Gotta put them back together to get through this. Ah, oh, if only my wish would come true. Maybe it's a little greedy of me to expect a second miracle. Oh, oh boy! <clears throat> wow, that was rough. Rough on so many levels. Oh boy. Oh no. Let's go to the next decision. Alright, let's be real obnoxious. 
and thank him for yesterday, even though we were the worst to him. <sighs> thank you anyway for yesterday, sweet, sweet, sweet Iki. For what? Huh? What do you mean, for what? I guess this really was something you shouldn't have brought up in front of anyone. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it the first time. Uh, Iki's attitude is so different when you're alone together from when you're in front of others. Uh, I'll never thank him. It's, it's all over. Okay, we're good until tomorrow. I'll bring you in then, guys. Oh, apparently when we get that text from Iki when he's being all strange and crap. And I was like, I don't want to read it because I feel like crap. Literally means I don't want to read it, <laughs> I guess. I don't want to. I'm sure. Alright, don't read it. Just erase it. Yeah, this is probably for the best. Why are we doing this? Anyway, she has something good to eat and cheer up a bit. Uh, that was terrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, boy. Well, now we've ambushed him. Ugh, I hate this discussion. It was heartbreaking enough the first time around. I'll have to go through it again. You looked like you were playing around. Gotta get myself all angry. Oh, I see. If you don't understand, then I'll explain it so it's easy to get. <sighs> Someone saw my cell phone when we were at the lodge. And then that's the same. And then we're like, is there anything else you want to ask? Not really. That's fine, then. Why do you think I'm putting up with all this? Ah, <sighs> I know. Hold on, I wanna look at the parameters. Perfection. Oh, trust went down a lot. Suspicions hasn't gone up at all, but... Oh, that trust, though. Okay, let's skip ahead to the next thing. A couple days from now. Alright, it's my father. Darling father's come to pay me a loving visit. Now I get to say, um, it's been a while to my own father. <laughs> uh, did you just say something weird? What's with these pleasantries? Is it because you don't actually think of me as your father? What? Your dad shows up? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <sighs> right. Oh, now I gotta break Orion's heart. I'm breaking everybody's heart this time round. I'm not okay with it. Oh, wait. I still say I think I'm in love with Iki. Did I mess that up the first time? <laughs> you would think that that would be the right option. Oh well. I'll click, click it again. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm, guys. I'll bring you in for the 26. Aha! Uh -huh, we finally get to tell him to not be so conceited. Uh, don't be so conceited. But still love me. Hmm. Yeah, that's something you'd say. But I'd like you to say something just a little sweeter. Uh. Oh well. We'll continue this later. Darn it. No countdown to kisses. Nah. Alright, let's skip ahead again. Well, we can tell Toma that we haven't decided yet. I should have had another option, but it didn't go. Well, we'll see what happens. I haven't decided yet. I see. I'd ask my parents, but you know... They're moving and so forth. Oh, and there's Toma. And it took us out of the skip option, so maybe we did hit the normal end. It's the 28th. This is when it's supposed to happen. Let's see what happens. Such slow fade. 
Hmm. Today is a rare day off. Wanna go on a date with Iki? I don't know, man. What does he think of me? It's not too bad. I guess it's pretty normal. Well, he'd probably ask you to go somewhere with him anyway. Random number. Hmm. You're getting a call from an unknown number. It's not Iki. It's me. I'm sorry about the other day. Uh, this voice is... Toma? <laughs> Your boyfriend, Ikkyu, was it? Give him my apologies as well. Could be Ukyo. Oh, it's my dad. Uh, give him my apologies, I mean. <laughs> oh, it's your dad! <laughs> to tell you the truth, I was scolded by my wife afterwards. She was so mad she hasn't even talked to me for the last three days. I can't win against her. I'm not exactly one to keep my mouth shut when women scold me, but... I'm just no match against her. Well, she was the one who gave me the determination to leave town. Huh? What's with your dad? I'm sorry about my attitude before. I shouldn't have said something so controlling. No, you shouldn't have. But even having said that, I still can't just leave you alone to live by yourself. This might sound a little blunt, but... Well, you know, we can't exactly afford this. I can't offer you any more support. And of course I can't agree with your living with your boyfriend, either. You're still too young. This is something that will determine your future. Do you really have that kind of will? I thought we just had to talk about you not being controlling, Dad. I know how you feel about things, but I don't plan to get divorced again. Your stepmother is waiting for you, too. You need to think this over again. I'll be waiting for your answer. Uh... Hey... Your dad might not have gotten married on a whim again this time. Really, Orion? Fourth time's a charm, you think? Maybe your dad is trying to change his ways, just like how meeting you changed Iki. In that case... This would be your fourth mom. <laughs> uh... Huh? What's wrong? Right, this marriage was different from the others. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. And a different memory. You're going to live alone? Don't say such foolish things. How old do you think you are? Stop acting so selfishly and get ready to move. Dear, calm down a little. You're always refusing to listen to other people. That's why she said she wants to live apart. But she's still just a child. It's only natural, even for children, to dislike it when you try to force them to do things they don't want to. That's... true, but... Rosy cheeks. I understand why you might dislike me. I'm your father's fourth wife, after all. But I really am worried about you trying to live alone. Maybe you should stay away from your father for a little while. Calm down and think it over again. What do you think about that, dear? Uh, well, I guess so. I understand, but only until the end of August. I won't wait any longer. Hmm, Step fourth stepmom uh, actually sounds kind of nice. That's right. Even after that, I couldn't believe that Dad would change, and I refused to live with him. But Iki was just like my dad. And Iki changed himself. Maybe my dad did too. Hmm. Hey, Orion, what do you think? Um... Orion? 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 Why did that make you go away? No! Come back! Orion! This is not okay! What's happening? It's still going? We can't continue without our Orion! Didn't even get to say goodbye! How do I go on? Oh no! I'm 
I'm talking to myself because I don't have a bug to talk to. I'm home. I'm so tired. There are so many things that I can't remember. What happened to me? Why can't I remember anything? Oh, of course, she's forgotten about Orion. Hasn't she? I feel like I'd always consult with someone during times like these. Wow, she forgot him so quickly. This is so sad. But with whom? Maybe I'm just sick. Maybe I should go home. I don't really want to leave Iki, though. But Iki might just like me because the power of his eyes doesn't work on me. If there was someone else like this, he might not continue to feel this way. I don't even know what to do. Oh. <sighs> we lost our conscience. Conscience, I mean. That is so sad. Ugh. Holding back the tears. Gotta hold back the tears until the end. Until this normal end. Oh, we just skipped through August thir August 30th was a completely uneventful day. What did we end up deciding? Today is the end of August. Are you going back to your dad's place? It's not like you can live with me. Even if I said I wouldn't do anything, you can't believe me completely, can you? Well... Apparently our trust isn't far enough along. Uh, but still, I guess three months is too short of a time to decide your future. Maybe things would have been different if we had more time. Don't you agree? You know, I waited around for two months after figuring out that I liked you, before even bringing up the idea that we should go out. And I really was thinking about the future. I wanted to be with you forever. I wanted to be by your side, even if I couldn't touch you. Huh. It's kind of embarrassing saying this now, seeing how I couldn't get you to figure it out after three whole months. Huh. I guess now we'll be two hours apart by train. Huh. I'm sorry. All I really wanted was for you to say it's okay. <laughs> To sum it up, he's living in despair. Now then, what do you think? <laughs> Remember that, at least. I couldn't help save Iki from his despair. I couldn't be the one to be there for him like that. I'm sorry. Oh, that's such a sad looking face. <laughs> Why? No. Is that the end? Two weeks later. Wow, we've gone way beyond August for once. Aww. Oh, I, I'm moving back. This is two weeks later. Don't look like you're about to cry. It's not like we'll never meet again. But you look so beautiful right now. <laughs> if you want to meet, just let me know. If you want to hear my voice, give me a call. I'll be happy to accept you, whether it's day or night. Okay. But I won't be the one to call or contact you. Huh? Why not? Because you didn't choose me. I get that. I would be pathetic if I just kept trying to win you over. We won't be able to work together. We'll be attending different schools. It wouldn't be strange for our feelings to drift apart, too. If you want to distance yourself, that's totally up to you. It's okay to forget about me. Uh, but I won't forget you. You should go inside. Uh, I won't forget. Yeah, I guess. Oh. I'll probably end up forgetting eventually. Eventually. Maybe after about ten years or so. Probably. I'm sorry. 
don't apologize anymore. I'm not doing this to try and make you feel bad. Just give me a call. When you feel like it. <laughs> oh god, I can't keep the tears back. I'm almost there. Anyway, take care. Maybe we'll meet again. I really loved you. <gasps> Just give me a call. When you feel like it. One month later! Please give him a call! That was heartbreaking! I don't want it to end like that! Please. <laughs> yes, thank you. You're not calling him, though. You're sending an email, you chicken. Subject. How are you? To Iki. The air here is really clear. It's a little colder than Tokyo. But the stars are very beautiful. Although it's not as nice as in Shinano. Please come visit when you have some time. I'd like to see them with you. I'll be waiting. Did he email you back? <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Yes, I want to see it. Are you free this weekend? <laughs> love never truly dies. Your love never truly died. I think I fully realize the extent of his love for her. Now. In the normal end. Oh. It didn't tell me what it was, though. Gosh darn it, I want to know. I want to know, where is it? Give it to me. No, this isn't right. <laughs> this is not right. Album is what I want. Endings. Are you free this weekend? So that was Are You Free This Weekend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go finish crying over that heartbreaking ending. <clears throat> and then we'll go do some bad ends that will maybe make me angry instead, which would be better than the crying I'm doing right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.